and Donald Trump doesn't have a social media platform, but this double killer does. What is wrong with, what is wrong with this world, Brandon? This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, go through and pick your items. I got this Father's Matter hat on. I like to wear my hats backwards, but this is a cold-blooded hat. Also, Father's Matter shirt is back in stock. Jesus is Lord is here. Shirt I got on now. And Jesus is Lord hat is back in stock. So go on to the Officer Tatum Store and get your merch. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live and make a video, make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to talk about this incident that popped up earlier today. Uh, Larry, I, I wanted to uh, jump into <laughs> probably the funniest video that we're, anybody's going to hear today. For some odd reason, beating a murder case isn't enough for O.J. Simpson. He has to come out and rear his head every time there's something <laughs> controversial involving murder. So... I want you to listen to it with me and the audience to listen to what OJ had to say and then we'll give some commentary. Roll the clip. Okay. Hey, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. Happy Sunday. <laughs> well, it's my Twitter site, so it's my opinion. Let's start with Roe versus Wade. Uh, I thought it was a horrible decision. I think women should have the right to decide uh, uh, what happens uh, with their bodies, especially in cases of rape and, um, and incest. Murder. <laughs> I'm a little surprised that some of these alleged evangelical women who uh, have been speaking out against, you know, I guess abortion. Look, if you believe in God, you should know it's going to come down to whatever person and the Lord one day. So let's leave it up to him when that time comes. Uh, we're all going to have to face him. Um, I, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Larry, I can't do it. Brandon, he didn't just beat a murder case. He beat a double murder case. And don't forget, <laughs> he's, he's taking time away from tracking down the killer and killers of Ron and Nicole in order to do this video. Uh, and regarding uh, women having a choice to do with their body, Nicole didn't have much of a choice. He decapitated her. And Donald Trump doesn't have a social media platform, but this double killer does. What is wrong with, <laughs> what is wrong with this world, Brandon? Larry, I can't stop laughing. I can't stop laughing. It, it is sad that he did murder people, but I can't stop laughing at the irony. This dude is saying women should have control over their bodies because he murdered a woman. And then he talks about the Lord. Everybody's going to have that day before the Lord. Well, OJ, you, 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 you kill somebody and you lying. Your day is going to be a bad day before the Lord. So who do we hear from next? Charlie Manson? I guess the only reason we haven't heard from him is because he's dead. I wonder what Charlie has to say about Ro Roe v. Wade. I mean, re <laughs> you cannot you know, you, make this stuff up. You know, you would think that somebody with, with that much evidence against him, I mean, the man did everything but leave his business card at the crime scene, and he got away with this. He'd be laying low, just kissing his feet uh, every single day that he's not behind bars. And not only that, he comes out. Uh, he does a Twitter file, weighs in on this issue and that issue. I'm surprised MSNBC hasn't given him a gig yet. Well, you know what? Their ratings will go up because I, as crazy as he is, I, I tell you what, I, I'm guilty of it, Larry. I, when he when he has a little take, I listen to the irony. I mean, this guy is the boldest, most craziest, out of touch yep. with reality person that I've ever seen. Like, I mean, stay at least stay away from the murder stuff. At least stay away yeah. from women's Look choices. Look up, look up the word chutzpah in the dictionary. There's a big picture of O.J. smiling. I mean, what, <laughs> what incredible, incredible. And here we are talking about it, Brandon. So he's yes. winning. <laughs> he, that, man, that man has it uh, figured out. But anyway, I, I guess the people who are listening can make their judgment on whether or not he's smart for saying it or not. But I want to get to another subject, Larry. Uh, the young lady who came out and made an article, or she wrote an article, they call her a columnist, I, I think she's a, a, a crazy woman, but she initially said that you were the, the black face of white supremacy, and now she's That's come right. out with another article trying to depict uh, the scenario where white, white Christian evangelicals are, are arming themselves out of fear of black people owning firearms. Yeah, and that, and that black people are arming themselves out of fear that white people uh, are going to track them down with firearms. Uh, it's a pretty incoherent article. Every time I read an article by Erica D. Smith, uh, I feel that my IQ has dropped three to five points. So uh, 
Uh, so, you, so you cost me almost 10 points. I read this thing twice, Brandon. Uh, and and, and her, her argument is that, the, that California is fearing a growing number of black people who are getting arms because the black people fear uh, that white people are going to get arms uh, and, and go into a murder spree. When, in fact, as you well know, uh, half of the homicide victims in this country are black, almost 7,000, and they're almost always killed by other black people. The peril to black people in the inner city is not white people with guns. It's black people with illegal guns uh, shooting and harming black and brown people living in the inner city. She doesn't want to talk about that. She somehow wants to argue that, well, California might rethink their support for the Second Amendment and support uh, for this Supreme Court decision that allows people to, uh, under an easier standard to get CCWs because a, black, a bunch of black people are going to get guns. Uh, white people are not afraid of black legal gun permit holders. They're afraid of thugs. They're afraid of people Amen. who are illegally having guns. Remember that Chris Rock routine? You know, I'm not afraid of, of, of black people. I'm afraid of N-words. And he goes on and right. talks about the thugs that they're afraid of. That's what people are afraid of, no matter what race they are. Hey Amen. Larry Elder, you guys listen to Larry Elder. Larry Elder, thank you for being on.